As in recent weeks, Jeremy Corbell and George Knapp on their weaponized podcast teased yet another release. Now, these always intrigue me. I've talked about that on this channel before. The last one, not so much after the fact, but this one I was excited to see. This was, and let me go ahead and jump right into it. This one was teased on Twitter by Jeremy Corbell, and he stated, Happy to say that on Weaponized Tonight, we are releasing a new document into public record pertaining to an allied coordination of UFO UAP reverse engineering programs. No matter where UFOs are from, it is now openly admitted by our Department of Defense and allied nations that there are durational UAP reverse engineering and exploitation programs. It's time to acknowledge the UAP presence. What I anticipated was a lot different than what happened. This was before the show. I'm not going to play the, the clip, but I invite you to visit Jeremy's page. That way you guys can uh, can, can see that and, and, and view it. Uh, but it was teased pretty hard. What it was and what it is, is this, a two-page letter, about a page and a half, from Larry McGuire. He's a Canadian politician. And it was a letter that he wrote in March of this year to Minister Anand. That's Anita Anand. She's the defense, um, uh, the, the Minister of National Defense in Canada. Now, I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but let me read a couple lines. Dear Minister Anand, it has come to my attention through meetings with American officials that the United States Senate Select Committee on Intelligence and Senate Committee on Armed Services have been undertaking in-camera hearings with government and military subject matter experts on the recovery and exploitation of physical material from unidentified aerial phenomena. Jumping down, as Minister of National Defense, you may not be aware, Defense Research and Development Canada has participated in efforts to analyze UAP, which is publicly traceable to circa 1950. Jumping down, Canada's chief science advisor has also launched the Sky Canada Project, which is investigating how the government of Canada manages UAP reports. It is imperative the government of Canada have a communications plan to respond to these upcoming public re revelations that will stem from these American FMPs, or foreign material programs. Well, that to me is not necessarily a DOD admission, uh, so I was a little surprised at this, but admittedly, I don't know a whole lot about Can Canada's politics or politicians, but a friend of mine does. He is the expert on all things Canada and UFOs and UAP. He's been doing this for decades. He's been on this show before. So I rang him up and I said, Hey, what's going on? I need you to help me and all my viewers understand, is this a bombshell? Is it proof of anything? Is it extraordinary? Has our world changed? Mr. Chris Rutkowski agreed to send me some of his thoughts. Take a look. Hi, John. Thanks for the opportunity to give you my comments about these Canadian bombshell documents. I don't think that they're bombshell necessarily. I do know that uh, Member of Parliament Larry Maguire has been very outspoken about his belief in uh, UAP as a subject that needs uh, to be studied in greater detail. I did get a request from him to brief him on my UFO research that I've been doing for the past 40 and a little more years in Canada. Uh, and I do know that before he actually reached out to me that he had been briefed by Louis Elizondo and a few other Americans, so he's gotten a you know, a different perspective on things. Um, well, as far as the statement that the uh, Canadian government may have been taking part in analyzing fragments of UAP, that sounds a lot like what had been claimed by Wilbert Smith, who was a radio technician uh, back in the 1950s here in Canada. He's best known for something called the Smith Memo, where he says that while at a conference in Washington, Washington D.C., uh, he was told privately that uh, UFOs and fr uh, flying saucers are uh, a subject of great interest to the American government. As a matter of fact, they're classified two points higher than the H-bomb, which is a very strange statement when you think about it, because why would he be told that? Anyways, um, the uh, the point is that he, this Wilbert Smith claimed that not only had he seen pieces of uh, crashed saucers, but that he'd actually seen the bodies 
uh, and that he had been uh, told many things by sources within the Canadian government and the American government as well. Um, but uh, many people have pointed out that uh, Smith also uh, made a, a lot of uh, unusual claims. He actually said that at one point he was in regular communication with the aliens. There's a story about how he would sit in his backyard and telepathically talk to them and things like that. But, I mean, it depends on who you believe and who you talk with. Uh, I'm hoping that the Smith stuff isn't the source of a lot of the claims that we're hearing now. Uh, I'm hoping that some of it could be from a little more verifiable uh, and uh, substantial uh, information sources. I guess we'll just have to see. Well, thank you, Chris, for doing that. Thank you all for listening and watching. Figured you would want a different voice than me yapping at you on how to take this. I linked Jeremy's tweet in the show notes below. That way you can read the entire letter. And as always, I'm interested in your comments, uh, your feedback, what you'd like to see on this channel, what you think of this video, and then some. Please, please, if you think it's worthwhile, hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you're subscribed. And do tell me what you think below. This is John Greenwald Jr. signing off, and we'll see you next time.